you go. First question, sort of tell us how important is rugby to you and how important was it to you when you were growing up? I suppose growing up it probably wasn't that important. Um, just played it because I, I love playing sport. I was big into football, uh, liked my golf. Um, my parents were great to me. They um, got me involved in, in many sports. And um, I suppose I only got serious in rugby uh, in my late teens. Um, and then I suppose it's, it's, I never really saw it as a career. Um, it was just me trying to get onto the best team as I possibly could, whether it was Leinster under 20s, Irish under 20s, the academy, the sevens, and whatnot. But it's gotten a little more important uh, uh, in recent years. Um, but I suppose uh, it's it's what I want to be doing, and I'm I'm very privileged and lucky to be in the position I am today. You mentioned the under 20 Irish team at 2016 under 20 world champ the sevens what those experiences sort of teach you as a player and what do you learn from them you've taken on into your career uh, i suppose they're huge learning experiences and learning curves for you i suppose when you're there at under 20 say in a world cup that's that's the biggest thing uh, for you in that moment of time you're playing in a what you see is a pressurized environment against um, I suppose the lads all the same age testing yourself against them and the best of the, um, in the world at, at that um, age grade so um, they've, they've been key development points I'd like to think in my career and then going on to sevens uh, I probably wasn't ready to step into the 15s world at, at senior level so it gave me a few years to develop my skills um, develop myself and uh, improve physically as well so um, yeah they'd be good stepping stones to, to where I am. Playing the under 20 world champion you say you made the final unfortunately didn't win it but how much of a sort of factor was that in sort of stealing your determination to go I want to make it in the, say the 15 senior team and sort of experience the same thing with the national team? Yeah definitely it, uh, it makes you hungrier, hungrier um, after it and I suppose it wasn't long after that uh, under 20s World Cup that uh, my teammates like Porter, James Ryan were going on to represent um, the senior men's side as well. So that gives you a lot of confidence as a young 21, 22 year old to, to see lads you've been playing with, your friends go on and make that step up both at club level and at uh, international level on a senior uh, grade. So. Uh, I think that that was important too to, to give you confidence that maybe you could do it once. What did it mean to you when you made your debut wearing the Irish shirt for the senior national team? Yeah, it was a huge uh, honour and um, wore with a lot of pride. I know um, the amount of work my, my parents would have put into me, my, my family, the support they would have shown, and it was it was hugely special for them. It was uh, under a bit of uh, weird circumstances with with COVID and an empty stadium, but. I suppose I, I didn't really mind too much. I was just um, happy to be wearing the green shirt for the first time. I think, to be honest, it probably wasn't something that I thought would ever happen in my life. Um, so I was I was delighted to get the opportunity. You say you were, it might not necessarily been something you were thinking of or think would happen, but once it did, how how much did the World Cup in 2022 become a sort of goal for you that you're in the team now, I want to be there? Yeah, you, you, you get a taste of it. And you, you love international rugby, I suppose. My first 10 caps were, were in an empty stadium and then as, as fans started to drip feed back in, you, you get the real sense of what it's like and um, I suppose you get hooked on, hooked on it uh, in, in one way and love the um, atmospheres, both in the Aviva, but also of the travelling Irish support. And um, I suppose back in 2020, 2021, it was all about the next tournament, staying in the team. Um, the next campaign but I suppose as recent years have come um, it's always sort of been building to the World Cup so um, recently it has become a goal to get here and um, go go one further than I did at under 20s level. How much do you think your, your sort of seven experience has helped you as a fullback? Yeah hugely I think um, at a time when I joined the sevens I was probably 2021 20, I wasn't ready to make that step into senior rugby with, with Leinster and um, it gave me the opportunity to play international rugby at a high level and um, develop my, my skill set and develop physically as well, get my fitness up, get my speed up um, and, and um, yeah it was a pretty good stepping stone I think into, into um, Leinster and, and Ireland then. 
how pleased are you with your own performances and the team's performances so far this tournament? Yeah, they, they've been mixed, I suppose. Um, I still think we, as a group, feel like we haven't performed to our best. I think there's a lot of learnings from the first um, three games, um, and we've been working hard to, to fix them up and improve over the last, I suppose, 10 days, because the Scotland game is obviously a huge challenge. It's um, it's all or nothing, really. So, um, yeah, we're, we're really excited about that, and it's building nicely, I think. With, you know, with the, the Scotland game being next, you're in pole position as a team to make the quarterfinal, but Ireland have never made it beyond the quarterfinal. How determined are you to change that stand? I suppose we're, we're just focusing on the next game, to be honest. We're, we're not looking that far ahead, but it's always been about Romania, then Tonga, then South Africa, and now it's all about Scotland. So um, we, we know the sort of threats that they have in their back line, and we've got to respect that and got to go out and and get the win, that's that's our aim and that's all our focus. Final question, how would you describe yourself as a player? Uh, <laughs> it's always tough uh, talking about yourself, I suppose. Things I'd like to pride myself on are, are work rate, uh, probably my aerial game, and uh, 